हेलो ब्यूटीफुल पीपल टू डेज ट्वेंटी फोर्थ ऑफ अप्रैल माई नेम इज साहिल एंड वेलकम टू न्यूज पेपर एनालिस गाइज ही इज पॉल वेलरी हु इज द फ्रेंच फिलोसोफर एंड गाइज फ्रांस हैव ऑलवेज बीन द क्रेडल फ्रॉम वेयर द डेमोक्रेटिक एंड लिबरल आइडियाज हैव स्प्राउटेड सो गाइज इन दिस कॉन्टेक्सट विल सी अ कोट फ्रॉम पॉल वेलरी ही सेज टू डेंजर्स कॉन्स्टेंटली थ्रेट इन द वर्ल्ड ऑर्डर एंड डिस ऑर्डर Guys, this particular quote represents the two forces. The order is represented by the authoritarianism, whereas a disorder is represented by the anarchism, chaos. And guys, all of the political systems, that is the authoritarianism as well as anarchism, represents a system where the humanity cannot survive. And in between, we come across the concept of a democracy. which happens to be the modern state system in most of the countries including india though guys there could be instances that the democracy might not be able to respond to the challenges of humanity into the present times but that is all together the part of unfoldment however into the times to come only the democracy will be the ultimate solution guys we are discussing this particular thing into the context of anti statism this that which is arising throughout the world take the example of maoist activity take the example of insurgencies they all want a kind of an alternative but that thing will not be proving fruitful to india and has not proved fruitful for any other country guys please use this quote for the challenges when you are writing answers on internal security that is paper number 3 you can use it as an example in your essay papers or wherever the democracy and the challenges to democracy are asked very very useful for your exam so guys let's begin with today's analysis first of all friends you know that nowadays the entire paper is filled with covid 19 and 99.9% news are concerned with the numbers and digits which are not important for our upsc exam however every day i try to give you a pattern with respect to covid 19 for example flattening of curve for example why tests are failing for example rapid antibody test what is the mechanism my purpose is to give you that dimension where the questions if comes into covid 19 where it can go i try to give you that particular kind of thing so please keep updated yourself with that particular thing however many a times it could be the possibility that to explain the new concept i have to repeat a concept a little bit so that could be a possibility and one more thing as today there are not much relevant to the hindu i will be taking articles from the down to earth also guys this is the page number 1 of the hindu newspaper and the first news that we can see here is that the lockdown had ensured that the growth into the cases of covid 19 is going linear and not exponential now friends in the case of epidemic exponential growth graph looks like this it means that into the given course of time the cases will double up or they will become thrice into some specific windows and as the time will proceed these windows can also get shorter up for example in 10 days the cases will get doubled up so for example if there were 10 cases in initially then into the 10 days they will be 20 in next 10 days it will be 40 in next 10 days it will be 80 so the graph will look like this moreover guys there could be one more scenario that the cases are getting doubled up but this window of 10 days is getting to 8 days 6 days 4 days so the resultant graph will be like this that the number of cases over the time will rise up very rapidly guys what is the reason of exponential growth is that the people are getting infected because of a virus and a virus is a pathogen the growth of a virus depends on to the resource that it is getting until and unless the resources will be unlimited the virus's growth will also be unlimited and if anyhow these resources are restricted the growth of virus will also be restricted and what do we mean by restricting the resource resource is who resource are the people so when we impose social distancing when we impose lockdown these resources are being reduced and if that strategy becomes successful then the type of graph that we can achieve will be this one which is called as linear growth 
Now, according to the article, we have achieved the linear growth and that is because we imposed lockdown very early and in this direction, India's approach is just like Belgium model which also went for the early lockdowns. Now, friends, what happens into the linear growth is that there will obviously be growth into the number of cases, but the cases will not rise by the factor of 2 or factor of 3. It means there will be some cases be added, but they will not simply multiply like twice and thrice. There will be gradual growth. Now, if you see in India every day, 1500, 1400 cases are coming. So, a, a constant increase is being made. They are not doubling or tripling up in a constant window of time. Now, many a number of times I had given you the concept of flattening of curve. So guys, in order to flatten the curve, the first stage happens to be going into the phase of linear growth, which the article says that India is reaching. So guys, here we can see into the article, it has been provided that India's curve is showing signs of flattening, though it has not dipped like in South Korea. So friends, flattening means that the cases will not be coming very rapidly why cases are not coming very rapidly because we have entered the linear growth why we have entered the linear growth because of lockdown it has been successful even the article also mentions this thing it says the growth of cases have been more or less linear not exponential this indicates that the strategies we have adopted have succeeded in containing the infection so guys this was about the concept now we'll move to the next item Friends, there is an article into the down to earth which says that due to COVID-19, tribal handicrafts are suffering. Guys, in this direction, we will see the issue under the light of TriFed, which is an important organization and can be important for your exams. First of all, guys, tribals are characterized by their unique culture, their unique habits and their unique customs. And in India, in order to give the protection to tribals, we have categorized them as a separate class of citizens that is scheduled tribes. Now, scheduled tribes have been recognized under article number 342 of Indian constitution, whereby president can give a group of citizens having their own distinct habits and cultures as a status of scheduled tribe. So guys, a large number of scheduled tribes have been recognized. Moreover, friends, you know scheduled tribes have been given various rights. For example, they have been given reservations under the Constitution of India. Secondly, under Article 338A, National Commission for Scheduled Tribe has been made for their organization. There is Ministry of Tribal Affairs and a lot of other things. Now guys, if we talk about the livelihood of the scheduled tribes, they get their livelihood by two things. First of all, they sell non-timber minor forest produce and their rights have been given to them under the Forest Right Act 2006. Guys, already I had discussed FRA. And when they are selling these non-timber minor forest produce, they are also given the minimum support price. Fine. Second is they can also sell the handicrafts. They made a lot large number of crafts. With respect to selling of handicrafts, there has been the Tribal Cooperative Marketing Development Federation of India, which is called as TriFed. So guys, TriFed is under the Ministry of Tribal Affairs and this particular organization provides a platform to the tribal so that they can market their goods and can sell their products at the remunerative prices. And in this particular respect, TriFed has tied up with various non-governmental organizations, self-help groups, civil societies which buy the products of the tribals and sell them at a remunerative price. Now guys, fine. So what is happening now? Because of the lockdown, the tribals are not able to sell their handicrafts and now TriFed is intervening by buying their products directly. Now guys, as we are talking about TriFed, TriFed was also into the news because they are running a tech for tribal program. Under this program, TriFed has partnered with the institutes of national importance such as IITs. Guys, under this program, these institutions will be teaching the tribals the courses with respect to the branding, marketing, getting the certification and all these kind of things. So that in mean course of time, 5 crore tribal entrepreneurs could be made. So in this way, a self-sufficiency is being installed. Guys, please remember this program, very important. 
now guys one more value addition point from my side is that i have told you that with respect to handicrafts trifed is intervening and buying the goods moreover for the handicrafts only it also runs the tech for tribal program guys with respect to their minor forest produce also trifed does something guys the famous one dhan yojana is operated by the trifed under one dhan yojana there will be one dhan vikas kendras into the tribal areas and guys they will be assisting the self help groups which will develop the collection capabilities into the tribals with respect to the minor forest produce they will be given tools they will be given capabilities so that they can get the better collection of their minor forest produce guys very important for your prelims please keep these things into your mind now guys there is one more news into the down to earth which mentions about the patta chitra artisans of odisha so guys the problem is same due to lockdown they are facing miseries however for art and culture paper 1 and prelims will see it first of all patta chitra is repeatedly coming into the news last in last one year several times it has been mentioned guys last year what happened patta chitra artist face a lot of problem because of the cyclone feni which caused a lot of destruction now friends if we talk about the patta chitra painting the patta means the cloth and the chitra means the painting now the painters are called as the chitrakar and they make a they make very elaborate paintings using wide variety of natural colors now with respect to the nature of the paintings these are the scroll paintings so guys scroll paintings are like this there will be two sticks type at the either of the ends and between there will be the painting the painting could be rolled up now there are three distinct version of patta chitras first are called as normal patta chitras which are made on cloth then there are the bhitti chitra they are made on the wall and the third are the tal patra chitra or pothi chitra they are made on the leaf particularly the palm leaf now guys patta chitras are primarily practiced at two places that is odisha and west bengal and in odisha please remember the location raghurajpur it is the main center of patta chitra and in this village all the persons they practice patta chitra moreover guys in raghurajpura apart from patta chitras wood carvings and masks are also made so important second center is the west bengal and in west bengal a lot of different themes in patta chitra are made that is durga pat chal chitra tribal patta chitra मेदनीपुर पटाचित्र एटसेट्रा दीज आर द वर्जन एंड वन वेरी फेमस वर्जन इज द काली घाट पटाचित्र विच हैज बीन स्टार्टेड बाय द जामिनी रॉय हु वॉज द मॉडर्न पेंटर एंड गाइज पर्टिकुलरली इन टू द वेस्ट बेंगाल द पेंटर्स आर कॉल्ड एज पटुआज वेयर एज इन ओडिशा दे आर कॉल्ड एज चित्रकार्स and one more thing in odisha the primary theme of painting is vaishnavism where in west bengal art from vaishnavism other themes are also practiced which we had mentioned and one more important thing both odisha as well as west bengal patta chitra paintings have been given gi tag now friends one news has been mentioned on the page number 5s which mention the devan hali chakota now into the news it has been given that this particular fruit variety has given a new boost by which karnataka horticulture department is providing the plant to the farmer and the airport of bangalore is also planting this fruit not that much important for our upsc exam however we need to see this particular variety of fruit why because it has been given the gi tag so guys it is a kind of a citrus fruit which is primarily grown into the region around bangalore so it is a kind of a very much restricted species and into the summer months it is sold and enjoyed by people so just remember that the gi tag has been given to devanhali chakota and it is also known by the name as devanhali pomelo so both are the same please remember this thing now we'll move to the next article so guys in the editorial section the first editorial that we'll be taking will explore that why the manifestation of covid 19 in india as well as into the developed countries are different guys as soon as december 2019 a kind of a prophecy was being made that south asia will be the worst impacted region into the entire world and countries particularly such as india will be the even more worstly impacted but if we talk about the data then we can see that india merely contributes 0.75% of the cases of covid 19 when entire world is concerned when at the same time if we take the cases of 
यूएसए इट इज बिलीव दैट थर्टी वन परसेंट ऑफ द ऑल द केसेज आर इन यूएस एट द सेम टाइम वी ऑल्सो नीड टू कंसिडर दिस थिंग दैट द वर्ल्ड शेयर ऑफ पॉपुलेशन ऑफ इंडिया इज एटीन परसेंट वेयर एज फॉर यूएस इट इज ओनली फोर परसेंट सो द थिंग इज दैट वी हैव सच लार्ज पॉपुलेशन एंड स्टिल सो लेस नंबर ऑफ केसेस एंड दिस सिचुएशन इज नॉट पिक्यूलियर ओनली टू इंडिया बट साउथ एशियन कंट्रीज सच एज नेपाल पाकिस्तान मालदीव एक्सेट्रा वेरी लेस नंबर ऑफ केसेज हैव बीन रजिस्टर्ड एंड गाइज I will give you one more fact South Asia accounts for 23.4% of world population and at the same time only 1.25% of infections are recorded here and guys these datas and numbers become even more mind boggling given the poor condition of health infrastructure given the high density of population into these countries however a thing is being said that the countries in south asia particularly india might be into the earlier stages and later when community transmission will be coming they will be facing these number of cases but the thing the talks are being made that we are going towards a flattening of curve so flattening of curve means that we had reached near our peak and the cases will not be coming therefore guys there could be only two particular reasons as why this thing happened number 1 india followed early lockdown and even large number of countries in south asia followed early lockdown therefore that transmission is contained and thus na large number of cases are not being seen but again here there is one more problem number 1 is that even other countries such as italy also imposed for the lockdown and they have even far superior health system also but still there are large number of cases and secondly even though lockdown was imposed but it was a luxury for the middle class only whereas the poor sections of people they were not able to follow the lockdown and social distancing particularly because there are slums such as dharavi there it is nearly impossible to do that thing but still how you'll explain so now we come to the reason number 2 as how it was possible guys if we take the example of iberian peninsula then there are two countries one is portugal and other is spain in spain there have been large number of cases and large number of fatalities but in portugal the fatalities were as the cases both have been at the lower level what is the difference here the difference here is that the portugal is running a program where the bcg vaccination is given to the people now guys bcg vaccine is the vaccine for the tuberculosis now it is being speculated that bcg drug might be fruitful in containing the covid 19 and because of that particular thing people might be get immunized however if we follow the same trail that the then the south asian countries are mandatorily running the bcg vaccination program including the india and the same thing could be observed here also that bcg are being given and people are showing a kind of an immunity so therefore bcg drugs could play an important role here moreover around the world as hydroxychloroquine is being imported from india and the countries are thinking that it could be a possible cure on the same lines bcg could also be a cure here and therefore it could have improvised our immune system however still it is too soon to conclude anything only on the basis of sociological data that thing is being concluded moreover guys the success is not finished here however the strategy of bringing live as well as livelihood on the track is needed to be seen though we secured the human security but now we need to secure the economic security also so in this direction countries need to take immediate steps particularly when the large workforce is involved into the informal sector which is the case of india so the large population might go into the poverty for that particular thing government might come with the fiscal packages and a lot of other remedies such as providing in universal food transfer providing universal cash transfer providing the livelihood opportunities giving them the social net etc so guys these are the possible explanations with respect to covid 19 disproportionate occurrences so guys this was all about this news now we'll move to the next article friends in this editorial we'll see that how despite of covid 19 china is not deterring its actions into the south china sea let's see first of all certain concepts guys consider that this is some country and this is the land boundary land territory of a particular country 
नो ऑल द वॉटर इन टू द लैंड विल बी कॉल्ड एज इंटरनल वॉटर देन अप टू ट्वेल्व नॉटिकल माइल्स टूवर्ड्स द सी इज कंसिडर्ड एज द टेरिटोरियल वॉटर देन गाइज द नेक्स्ट ट्वेल्व नॉटिकल माइल्स आर कॉल्ड एज कॉटिग्यूस जोन एंड देन द टू हंड्रेड नॉटिकल माइल्स एंड इट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द लैंड गाइज फाइन सो दीज टू हंड्रेड नॉटिकल माइल एरिया इज कॉल्ड एज एक्सक्लूसिव इकोनॉमिक जोन now this classification is provided by the un clause that is united nation convention on the law of seas now guys with respect to the exclusive economic zone the 200 nautical mile from the coastline this particular region gives the sovereign right to a particular country that this particular land they can this particular area they can use for their exploration of minerals and they have their sovereign right guys with respect to the territorial waters a country has its sovereignty okay so here they have sovereignty here up to 200 they have sovereign right there's a difference between two things now if we come to the south china sea you can see that a little amount of water has been divided within so many countries and every country gives its own version that what exactly is their exclusive economic zone here the differentiation the definition of 200 nautical miles will not be easy to fit because so many countries are into the nearby locations and guys because of this particular thing a kind of dispute has been coming into this particular region okay so guys if you see into this region the red color line is called as a nine dash line and china claims that this entire region belongs to the china's eez but there are certain countries which dispute this particular claim and this entire south china sea is disputed between certain countries that is china it is vietnam then it is malaysia then it is brunei then it is uh, philippines and indonesia okay so uh, indonesia is uh, right now not visible here so these are the countries which are claiming certain part of the south china sea guys then there are two particular island chains also that is the parasel island and spartle islands on these island also there is a dispute and the most assertive country here happens to be the china who recognizes who does not recognizes anybody's claim and is claiming the major portion of the region territory now if we talk about the usa usa provides usa doesn't takes any sides but says that this particular region should not face any kind of militarization and it should be the region for the fair passage of the ships moreover guys when we are saying that the china is asserting claim china has also undertaken a large construction in the parasel in the parasel and partly islands also and it is being assumed that china is carrying their militarization here but nobody knows actually what is going on now guys what is happening into the recent time covid 19 is spreading its tentacles around the world and it was assumed that the dispute in south china sea will come to a halt for some time but no china is still asserting the aggressive policy and the recent example can be seen that what happened the chinese coast guard had sunk a vietnamese fishing boat around near the parasel islands into the south china sea and the government of vietnam is protesting against that particular thing and guys it is not only thing but into the recent time china has shown its assertiveness into the other regions also for example there is natuna sea into the region where chinese coast guard are making their fishers to do the fishing into that particular region but indonesia claims that the part belongs to them moreover moreover guys recently china also opened a research station at the kagi tingan and zamura reef which is into the west philippine sea and china is saying that they had done this thing to collect data on the ecology geology etc and all the countries into the region are infuriated and angered by this china's attitude and into the recent times it is even more immoral that china is doing these kind of things now a question comes that what could be the intention of china as it is doing this thing 
गाइज नाउ यू एस ए इज ग्रैपलिंग विद द पेंडेमिक एंड इज वन ऑफ द वर्स्ट इम्पैक्टेड कंट्री एंड चाइना नोज दिस थिंग दैट यू एस ए विल नॉट बी कमिंग हेयर राइट नाउ बिकॉज ऑफ इट्स ओन डोमेस्टिक कंडीशन एंड यू एस हैज ऑलवेज सेड दैट देयर शुड बी द फ्रीडम ऑफ नेविगेशन ऑपरेशन नो बडी शुड क्लेम स्टेक इन टू द साउथ चाइना सी सो दैट द फ्रीडम ऑफ नेविगेशन इज इम्पैक्टेड बट चाइना डजेंट लाइक दिस पॉलिसी However, Vietnam is the ardent supporter of the uh, freedom of navigation operation policy as well as also the supporter of USA because Vietnam has interest into the South China Sea and US can be an ally to Vietnam to fight against the China. So China has two problem. One is Vietnam and other is USA. Though guys, there are other countries also which have the claims there, but the child, but they time to time hover towards the China and China is not that much fearful also of these countries. And if I give you example of China's opposition against USA's policy of FONOPS, then China has recently also conducted anti-submarine drills into the disputed region to show the. agony against that particular thing now guys vietnam will be chairing the asean and will be arranging for the talks on the code of conduct into the south china sea and can criticize the china's action and china knows this thing so preemptively china is making its own space into the south china sea and it is being said that china is taking the opportunity because usa is weak and vietnam can raise the voice so china before all these things happen is asserting its position now this entire phenomena is very much unfortunate and very much immoral however china has always done these kind of things and it could be another way of a chinese communist party to show the agenda or to show the power into the region so guys this was all about this particular article now we'll move to the next article now guys is a news on page number 15 which says that the festival at kamakhya temple will not be holding this year because of covid 19 now guys this is the first time into the recorded history nearly 600 years that the festival is not being going to be organized now for the art and culture we'll look that what is the behind kamakhya temple guys first of all kamakhya temple is in guwahati in assam and guys the temple is located at the nilanchal hills where from where the brahmaputra river also flows and with respect to the temple at kamakhya the kamakhya temple mythologically it is believed that it was built by the demon king naraksur however when we talk about the recent history then it was said that it was rebuilt by the kuch king nar narayan so this is about the temple however the festival which is into the question is called as ambu bachi festival guys and this festival is organized every year into the month of june and the festival is an occasion to promote the menstrual hygiene through the use of sanitary pads now guys the temple is devoted to the shakti and that that bleeding festival or the festival which is into the article is called as the festival to mark the menstrual cycle of shakti who represents the sati the wife of lord shiva now guys into the assam the ritualistic festival is celebrated every year and for the women also the womanhood is celebrated and a ritual called tuloni biya is organized when the the girls attain the age of puberty okay guys so there is a lot of sociological relevance attached to this particular festival also now if we talk about the kamakhya temple it is one among the 51 shakti peeths or the holy sites now guys there is a particular cult which is shakti cult and the shakti cult worships the shakti peeth these are the places where the different body parts of sati were fell and all those places are venerated and as i told you the kamakhya temple is situated on the nilanchal hill in guwahati in assam and guys one unique style of architecture is also there which is called as nilanchal type so guys into the nilanchal type type architecture the roof is just like this uh, if you have seen the inverted boat so the roofs are like inverted boat so that could also be used into your upsc exam 
सो गैस दिस वॉज ऑल अबाउट द फेस्टिवल द नेम ऑफ द फेस्टिवल इज अम्बू बाची फेस्टिवल फेस्टिवल इज सेलिब्रेटेड एज अ मैंस्टुरल साइक मैंस्टुरल फेस्टिवल द सिम्बॉलिक रीजन इज दैट इट सेलिब्रेट द मैंस्टुरल साइकिल ऑफ शक्ति एंड देर आर एसोसिएटेड इन्फॉर्मेशन विच आई हैड ऑलरेडी गिवन यू सो गाइज नाउ विल मूव टू द नेक्स्ट आर्टिकल नाउ फ्रेंड्स हेज अ न्यूज आइटम ऑन पेज नंबर इलेवन अगेन सी इट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द प्रिलिम्स नाउ गाइज रिसेंटली द डी आर डी ओ हैड डेवलप्ड अ मोबाइल वायरोलॉजी लैब नाउ गाइज दिस पर्टिकुलर लैब इज केपेबल टू कैरी द डायग्नोसिस ऑफ कोविड नाइनटीन वायरस कल्चरिंग कुड बी डन फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ ड्रग स्क्रीनिंग देन द प्लाज्मा कोवलेसेंट थेरेपी वेयर द ब्लड प्लाज्मा इज गिवन फॉर द रिकवर्ड पेशेंट कुड बी कैरिड हेयर देन इम्यून प्रोफाइलिंग ऑफ पेशेंट्स कुड बी कैरिड एंड देन द अर्ली क्लिनिकल ट्रायल कुड ऑल्सो बी कैरिड हेयर एंड गाइज एज इट इज मोबाइल इट कुड बी डिप्लॉयड एनी वेयर वेयर द नीड अराइजेज now if we talk about the lab then it has been described as mobile virology research and diagnostic laboratory mvrdl and as i had told you it is developed by drdo along with the esi esic hospital hyderabad now guys when we talk about the biosafety level of this particular lab then it is a combination of biosafety level 3 lab and biosafety level to lab and was made in other record time so guys these are the things for the prelims just keep this thing into your mind moreover you can give this as an example when you are talking about gs paper number 3 so we talk about the indigenization of technology so how india is moving forward in that particular direction just for the reference in 3 and question in 2 prelims now guys we'll move to the next now guys after this the exam relevant news on which the questions could be asked uh, are not there so we'll be winding up here today and guys i hope that you are liking our discussion please do like and subscribe to our channel thank you so much